Good morning, everyone. So I just packed up and left the Morgan Stewart shelter. It's another rainy day. I think it's supposed to rain and storm off and on all day with a chance of severe storms too. Um, but basically that's like the forecast for the next 10 days straight. Like there's literally no break to it. And it's been raining for a couple days now. Yesterday actually ended up being pretty nice. It was supposed to storm yesterday, but it didn't. So that was good. I slept okay last night. I've not really been sleeping the best for some reason. I'm not sure why, um, but I did get into the shelter. I was thankful for that because this morning everything is just gross and even being in the shelter, everything is damp. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the plan today. I typically like to go into town every four to five days just to like clean up and, you know, take a shower, do laundry, upload YouTube videos. Um, resupply, which I actually don't really need much of a resupply right now, but it has been five days since I've been in town, so I'm debating doing that today. The biggest reason is just because, like, I haven't done my laundry in, since before New York City. Not even sure how long that's been at this point. And of course, my socks are just, like, absolutely gross and I mentioned this yesterday but I did end up getting blisters actually on both feet and I think it's just because my socks were so dirty but yeah and also my portable battery bank is like dead it's on like seven percent so I'm gonna get to the road crossing and I think there's like a landscaping place there that has both showers and charging so I'm gonna check that out and then if that doesn't seem or if that doesn't seem like a good option, or if I just want to go into town, then I'm going to go into town. The thing that really sucks about this area is that there's actually, like, no hostels at all. I don't know if there's any in New York or Connecticut. So, that basically just leaves pricey hotel rooms. But, yeah. I'm okay with spending that much money, especially after I've been in the woods for four nights. But, definitely can't be a nightly thing, that's for sure. Anyways, I'm going to get to move in this morning and see where the day takes me. It's about to storm and we're in a severe thunderstorm morning, so I'm gonna head up to the shelter for a minute, take a little bit of a break. All right, y'all, so I just left the shelter. I'm coming up on some road that goes into Pauling, New York. And um, yeah, so basically the past, actually probably since I've hurt my foot, I've not really been having the best time on trail. And almost every single day, it gets to the point where I just wanna go home. And a lot of times I don't really like show that or talk about that in the videos because I don't want it to just be like all negative. Like, oh, I just want to go home all the time because the trail is beautiful and it probably sounds crazy, but it like it deserves to be enjoyed. But anyways, I kind of just got to a point this morning where I was like, how long am I going to let myself feel miserable like this and just want to keep going home? Because it's not been fun. And I'm out here to hike this trail for fun because I love this trail. Like, even, you know, when I'm feeling down on it, like I have been for the past several weeks, I still love this trail. So basically, I'm kind of just thinking that I need a break from it. Um, I need to, like, reestablish that joy that I feel from hiking it. I need to want to be here again because, because I still have over 900 miles left to finish the trail and while I think I could be stubborn and like force myself to do it right now I just I don't think it would be enjoyable I don't know if it would really be that fun for you guys to watch and I just don't really think it's worth it so I think for now I've kind of decided that like I said I need a break I think I'm gonna go home for maybe like a week or so 
reevaluate how I feel and then make a decision from there. I think either when I get home, I'm going to feel like I really miss the trail and I want to come back and I really want to finish my through hike this year, or I'm going to feel happy with what I've done and content with being a section hiker in the future. So yeah, today it's four months since I've started the trail and that's just a really long time. I don't know if I'm like okay with being away from home for that long. And I have so many other hobbies that it's really hard for me to like just focus on doing one thing for such a long time. But I'm hoping maybe I go home for a week, spend time with my family, do other things that I enjoy doing. Maybe I'll feel differently. But yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Um, and this isn't a spur of the moment decision. I've been thinking about this for weeks. Well, and here's the road. It goes into Pauling. Um, yeah. This is the Dover oak tree, and I believe it's the oldest or largest uh, tree on the entire Appalachian Trail. All right, y'all, so it's the next morning. I'm in a hotel in New York City. Um, sorry, it's kind of dark in here. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I'm just about to go to the Amtrak station and board the train to go home for a little bit, but I think I'll talk about that in a little more detail um, a little bit later, but yeah. It's really weird to go from trail to New York City. 